In a previous video, we looked at various forbidden techniques that allowed you to use your hands to block a headshot. If you looked up at the sky in specific ways relative to a sniper, your arms and hands could end up blocking an opposing sniper from seeing your head. Unfortunately, those techniques aren't very practical. But what if you didn't need to go through the effort of practicing and remembering where to look? Give your thanks to top scientist Potassium, who brought this to light. If you haven't heard of this command, that's probably because it was added 7 years ago, in a patch on April 18th, 2013. It was originally created for the purpose of supporting VR in TF2, where they would render your third-person model in first person, instead of the hands we usually see. Since this command allows us to see exactly what our third-person model is doing, all you need to do is line up your weapon to block your view of the sniper, and the sniper won't be able to see your head. This command is most applicable in the cases where you can block your head without having to look straight up. These being rocket launchers, the pistols, and heavy fists. Something to note is that if you don't first turn the command on, then die or switch classes, your third person player model won't render, and only your weapon will be visible. This isn't a big deal since lining up the weapon model is enough to get the job done. But if you're insane enough to use the default heavy fist, your own brain will give up on you and won't acknowledge your existence. Since the third person animations were never meant to be seen in first person, it can be genuinely nauseating trying to play with it on, especially on Soldier where his limbs are flailing everywhere all the time. Thankfully, the command is unrestricted, so you can just bind the command as a toggle. When you need to deal with a sniper, toggle it on, run past his sightline, and toggle it back off. If you play with view models off, the command isn't affected by it and will still work. If your gun would fire, but the wall wouldn't change. The wall was essentially ignoring you. 